Hello, my dear Scorpios. I hope that you're doing well. Happy, happy. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Who are you mad at? <laughs> okay, just kidding, Scorpios. Let's get into our reading. So, welcome to my channel. I hope that you're doing great out there in the world. Uh, remember, this is a general reading. Um, my energy feels better. Thank you so much, Scorpios, for you, my friends who are reaching out to me, asking me. Um, but I have been just extremely busy and I just needed a break, but okay, but this is September where this is going to be your reading uh, Let's start off the September to mark. Can you believe that there's that Queen of Swords uh, Princess of Swords? So it's something about your energy here Scorpio. I'm gonna keep that Queen of Swords Princess of Swords uh, So the Princess of Swords is kind of like that um, Page of Swords, right? So it's kind of like a communication thing but I just kind of want to see that. So let's put that back. I just want to see it. It's kind of weird, right? So if you have not taken a look at my past readings, please do so. Especially the one that says, I uh, must see this reading. That is one that was very manifesting. And also, um, you know, the angels and gods are watching over you. So it's very good touching video. So make sure you take a look at that. So, Scorpio, let's get into our energy. Remember, this is a general. If you like a person reading, reach out to me in my description description box and guitar all right and gina i will get back to you okay and thank you tatiana thank you debbie um and everyone that have reached out to me so i will get back to you i'm just checking catching up on all the readings and also my life and everything so lots of going on okay but let's start off the month with a positive attitude and keep your heart in the right place and protect it right all right, there you go, Scorpio, Ten of Cups here. So let's see what's your Ten of Cups. You are loving yourself right now. See, you're feeling, you know, in good moods, good spirits, um, and loving yourself. Nine of Cups, you feel happy. Okay. So Scorpios, let's see what's the energy. Yeah, you have, you have came to a whole new you, changing into your vibe of who you are and what you're doing. Um, I do feel like you're, you are putting a lot of love in yourself, a lot of work into yourself to do what's best for you, and which is great. And so you have the Nine of Cups here. You've shown your happiness, and there you are. It's a judgment card. You do feel like you're, you had you had to come to some kind of realization and some kind of energy uh, with the Five of Pentacles. You had to walk away from. You just said, you know what? This is not going to work for me. And you, you took your power back here. I feel like you just kind of got back into understanding more about yourself understanding what you're important to Scorpio you're starting to remember you and to be happy and to to take care of you because if you don't take care of you who will right so it's also about mental about your happiness about your love so I do feel like it's about your love peace and happiness here that you decided to choose you and maybe you haven't done that in a long time maybe you have had to go through some things to kind of get back to who you are and through these things right so let's go into that is your energy scorpio all yeah. yeah you're on fire here <laughs> so yeah you're just kind of like you know took some time you're still healing here you are taking some energy to get back to who you are and you are and still in the healing process, um, maybe you got a little bit more healing to do, a um, little bit more work on yourself, and you can kind of feel it here. You can feel it, you know, I would like to go on dates, I would like to, but I don't even think you have the energy anymore to put into someone else right now. I think it's more all focus on you, uh, making that decision for yourself, because you know how long it takes to meet someone but not only that how long it takes to recover from meeting someone who doesn't do right so you are in this energy being single happy and free right now and taking care of yourself here with the a uh, four of swords you are giving yourself that space that time that breakup recovering and just doing you right so underneath that was the um the two of wands but there could be this energy your person or someone who is waiting on you to make this decision um I'm wondering what you're doing here so let's see all right one more all right but on the other side of things the person you were dealing with this could be a family member this could be your children this could be 
siblings this could be a lover okay so but i do feel like you just really had to put something in place in your life scorpio and you are just like i know better now now i know what i deserve now i know what i want but on this person here whoever you were dealing with um in your energy here they're still wondering about you what you're doing i don't see them coming forward towards you um, not offering that apology as you deserve, but you're no longer waiting on that apology either. You're like, okay, well, if you don't want to speak to me, apologize to me. There's something really wrong with you not to do that. But oh well, what can I do? I can't control. You're learning, Scorpio. You can't control what other people want to do, okay? And I'm not saying you're a control freak or anything by all means, but you only can control how you respond. But you had the four cups in reverse. They were bitter with you. They were mad at you. They were upset with you. Um, they are feeling that still that little bit of you you hurt the ego of this person um, they don't see you investing in this anymore they see because you have the five of pentacles they have the six of pentacles in reverse um, they, they felt like you know because they didn't invest in you you just walked away right you just said okay well whatever you want and this made this person very upset very sad very lonely too I feel like they're very lonely um, and they needed you for emotional support. They needed you to make them feel better themselves. But I feel like here they were sucking your energy, but you're coming back up here into your energy of what you want and what you deserve. Okay? So, um, but that's how that person's feeling. That That's their energy of feelings. Okay? So, let's go into, but you're just taking this breakup like, you know, a, you know, this really, really well now. You're like, okay, if it's meant to be, okay, meant to be. So let's see what this person's energy, I'm clarifying their energy for the sun and the six of pentacles. Show the card, angels, and God and spirit. They're reflecting on you. They are thinking about you, what's going on with you, um, and thinking about what they did. I do think they're thinking about what they did to you and how it wasn't right. They do know this, Scorpio. So if, you, if you're one of those people that... They, you know want to ask do they know what they did to me yes did they care no um they just were not your person they were not the person for you and i think this is where you're coming through the acceptance that you need to focus only on you and take care of you because these people are out here running games on people coming in someone's life to hurt them so i think this is the learning part the curve for you is that you're like okay i can't be easily going to give out my heart anymore to people who I don't even know if they deserve it or not. So you are going to start learning to take your time with people. And because nothing's guaranteed with anyone. All right, but I do feel like here you're in a good place. You're taking care of you. You're minding your own business. You don't even like people right now. You're staying to yourself. So temperance. Let's see your person's actions. What are their actions towards Scorpio? They do know you were kind. They know you had a lot of patience with them. And they're kicking themselves right now. <laughs> they're kicking. Like, why did I do that? Now, this might have been somebody you dealt with for years. And sometimes it takes time for people. they are working to they know they need to do some work here too okay so I saw that and there's the emperor on the bottom of the deck here so with this energy their actions towards you Scorpio they are finding some kind of peace with this situation um, they don't I'm not sure if they wanted to come back or they're in this energy, like, but they are curious about you, wondering what you're doing, what you're thinking, and they they think about you on a daily basis here. But they're they're too scared to come back to you. That's what I feel like. No, I, I really want to talk to Scorpio and come back and prove to them, but I'm too scared to. They are kicking themselves. Okay, as I said earlier, you have this King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. They are trying to. I don't know if this person's really changed, but they are really trying to say they might be coming back to sh to be the person they think you want. Now, does that mean they changed? No. 
um, it just means they're coming back and they're, you know, maybe in their mind they're wanting, they're thinking they can have commitment with you, they can have everything good with you, they can have the life that with you, a good life with you, but there's still something about their energy here with that King of Wands, Queen of Swords again that we saw earlier at the beginning. Uh, they, yeah, I feel like they're, they're intimidated with you, but, um, they do want to communicate, okay, because you have the King of Swords and Queen of Swords, they do see, or King of Wands and the Queen of Swords here, they are thinking, they just don't want, they want to come out of this bad situation with you, is what I'm feeling, they just want to get back to that happiness place with you, but you have to be careful with that, Scorpio, because you've, usually if it doesn't work the first time, that energy has been broken, between the bond, you know, the trusting bond have been kind of broken or damaged. It's like a broken plate trying to put it back. Um, there's still cracks there, right? So that's what I feel with this person. There's still cracks in this person's behavior. And and I don't know if it ever go back the same. And so I don't know if, it, I feel like you just feel like this person, they see you as worth it now. They didn't value you for what it feels like. They just didn't value you, take care of you. But now they feel like, wow, I can have everything. Now they value who you are. Okay, it could be late, too late here. So, they, but they do want to come out of conflict with you. Anything else for Scorpio and this person? What does this person want to tell Scorpio? Yeah, they want to tell. They feel like they have some truths behind you. Maybe the, before they had lied to you, there's that emperor again. I want to take that. Um, I lost the emperor here. They want to come and take charge of this. So there's the devil card. They're very obsessed with you. Because the, the reason is, that's why I said they're kicking themselves. Because you were somebody great to them. They just didn't know at the time what they had. And now that they've been trying to maybe go out here and play around. Or meet new people. And they just can't replace you, Scorpio. They just can't. They just can't do it. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they still have a lot of attraction and passion for you. With that King of Wands there. Um, they do feel like here with their obsession with you. They could have some alcohol addictions, but they are definitely feeling that magnetic pull towards you. Like, they don't, they try to forget you and they just can't. They're just obsessed. The more they th they try to not think about it, the more it increases to think about you. So they are wanting a new beginning here. But they want to take charge of this. Okay, but they do have some attraction to you. And they, you know, I think every time they go out with somebody, the attraction is there for, like, instant attraction for that person. They have a conversation. They think everything's going good. But even when they're sitting there with that person, you are running through their mind. You're, it's just like that. They're sitting there listening to this person talk, and but they're thinking about you. And they're not even listening and hearing really not hear what this other person is saying so then they walk away feeling like I need to wait and I need to find Scorpio again I need to make this right I need to change so this is the obsession part even you're I'm feeling like you don't want nothing to do with this person they they feel like here they they want to use the the opportunity before they lose it they feel like they still have a chance with you if they make this right and if they do it right so they think that you should have chased them by now they think that you should have came to them by now and they see the energy you're like no it could have been two months could have been a year it could but i feel like it's been like far as the last time you spoke to the person not seeing them it may have been years since you have seen them but speaking to them it may have been like the last six months or something they have stayed con you know off and on in contact with you so this is the part, the session. So yeah, there's that same position of just showing you that strength card. But they are very double confirmation here. They are not, they don't know how to work their way back, even though they want to. But this is driving them crazy, Scorpio, that they can't even contact you. They don't have any access to you. They, you may have put this person blocked. We're just not ignoring them. Your strength is very incredible here, Scorpio. They don't know what to do. Okay. All right, one more. Just don't know what 
to do. Now, this is not for everyone. Or are they fighting one? They're fighting with themselves. They don't know what to do with the situation. They don't know how to get out. Yeah, whoever, they're fighting with someone that they don't want to be with in a commitment here. Or they don't want to be, or they could be going broke, right? So they're really having a struggle of either trying to not commit with the people they're around um, or they're fighting with themselves and losing money. Karma could be paying them a visit here. The same. All right, show me the outcome for Scorpio. Show me cards for Scorpio and this person. But you're going on your way. Okay, I'm going to see your... What is the goals for Scorpio? What's coming up for Scorpio only? Ooh, reconciliation, but let's put that back. There's a devil card in it. Let's ask what's going to happen. What's coming up for you, Scorpio? What's coming up for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What's coming up for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What should they know? What should Scorpios know? Yeah, you might be love bum again. But you're not interested in love. You're kind of, um, like I said, healing. Yeah, there you are. You're still healing. Work on that, Scorpio. But there's that Six of Cups. You're having memories about this person too. Not saying you want them back, but you think about them. Okay. Alright, what about Scorpio's person? What's Scorpio's person? What do they want to say to Scorpio? They're on their way. They want to make a take a risk, another opportunity with you. They want to um, but they I don't know. I feel like this person can go back to the same old, same old again. So, but they do want to come back and have a conversation with you and talk to you. If you give them a chance, they'll take it. Whoever in the relationship they were with, they realize they chose the wrong person in a relationship, or they might be getting a divorce. Um, but they, or they're going through something. But they're this is full card. They're ready to kind of take this whole leap of faith, right? Like with you but they had to it seems like this person had to stay away from this queen of cups yeah they had this yeah this relationship is a mess whoever they're with and it could be a sis sister brother mother like i said but they are realizing it's not working and this person could be ch relationship hopping you know what i mean but they do want this relationship here yeah, you're your wish, their wish for fulfillment. They're thinking now, like I said, beginning of reading, they're kicking themselves for leaving and and forgetting you or walking away from you or whatever they did. But that devil card is there. They're still obsessed with you. They think you are theirs. Yeah, I mean, with the emperor, they feel like, you know, now that third party or they're obsessed. King of Pentacles is going to come out. Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups? Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, they just can't walk away from you. They're, they, you are their happiness. They want to commit. They can't get you out of their mind, though. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. So I hope that this resonated for you. I hope that it all um, makes sense to you. But overall, this person wants to take a leave. They're whoever they're with. They want to get out of that situation because they feel like they're this Queen of Pentacles is not supporting their life or building with them, um, and they felt like the, the situation was they couldn't change it at the time. They couldn't get out of the situation, out of that relationship, whatever this is. But they don't love this Queen of Cups. They they felt like this Queen of Cups is not you. I mean, you're the Queen of Cups that they want, but they just felt like they're not in love. They don't want to be with this person, and they just want to come towards you in action because they felt foolish by staying, choosing the wrong person. But up here, it looks like they're wanting a relationship, wish fulfillment with you. They're um, getting out. They understand that you're their happiness. You made them happy. You were a peaceful person with them, calm with them, but they feel like they kind of blamed you for a lot of things but they haven't moved on they keep thinking about you so much and they're like you know they can't move on they just keep thinking and thinking and thinking about you so they know they they need to come towards you here but they felt foolish by staying with this per wrong person and the wrong marriage wrong partnership situationship whatever it was they chose the wrong person 
but now they're kicking themselves okay scorpio i'll leave it there have a wonderful day but this is going to be but i'm proud of you moving on and going to do what's best for you all right take care scorpio see you soon send in love and light bye-bye